For nearly four decades, they came out in their thousands in support of this man, Ali Abdullah Saleh. He was the president of North Yemen and then the United Republic of Yemen for 34 years. Mass protests in 2011 forced him to step down, but that didn't end his political career. And with the continuing war in the country, he picked up a new title, rebel. Salah allied with the Houthis to try to overthrow his successor, his former vice president, Abdur Rabu Mansur Hadi. He remained defiant by their side against both Yemen's internationally recognized government and the Saudi-led coalition that backed it. Patience and resistance will make all these conspiracies fail. We are ready as of now to get the front lines ready by deploying not hundreds or thousands, but tens of thousands of fighters. The rally where Saleh delivered that speech, calling for more men on the front lines, was seen as a direct challenge to the Houthis, a way of demonstrating his own mass support. A few days later, fighting at a Houthi checkpoint in Sana left a high-ranking pro Saleh army officer dead. The two parties aren't natural allies. It's more a marriage of convenience. In fact, the Houthis first emerged as a rebellion against Salah's state and waged six wars between 2004 and 2010. Salah had sharp words for them at the time. When we talk about ignorance, we talk about the tyranny. This is ignorance. This is tyranny. This is intolerance. These are the people who think they have a divine right to rule. But he would later change his opinion. Our differences with the Houthis weren't sectarian, ideological or religious. That's not realistic. It was an administrative difference. Salah survived a lot, including a rocket attack in 2011. But the Houthis were suspicious, and the question was always whether Yemen's great survivor could once again outlast his enemies. John Brain, TRT World.